How you doing, guys? Um, first of all, I suppose give a like, give a subscribe if you can, please, and thank you. Um, had a fantastic opportunity this evening to visit a friend of mine in the west of Dingle called Alan Moriarty. Alan is, I suppose, made famous by having the most westerly robotic milking parlour in Europe. It's a way out, way out in the sticks, well west of Dingle, and um, Alan has a lily astronaut um, robotic milking parlour. I'm very, very happy with it. And um, like I said, give a like, give a subscribe, and if you want to be in with a chance to win this, when we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're nearly there, and we're going to do a draw, and all the 2,000 subscribers um, will be in a chance to win that. It's a model of a JCB tractor, or JCB digger, courtesy of World of Wonder and Trulli. They're online, if you want anything for Christmas, anything before Christmas, after Christmas, birthday parties, whatnot, give them a shout, and that's thanks to World of Wonder and Trulli. And um, they'll be posting it out uh, when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And if we're there already and you're watching this, subscribe anyway because we're going to do the same um, at 3,000 subscribers. So here's Alan and here's what Alan had to say about his uh, Lily Astronaut Robotic Milk Empire. Thank you. Period. Well, great. Here's a video. Alan Hotings. How's it going? Very well, Alan. We're here looking at your Lily yeah, you robot. Can't, you can't see the Lily robot. Um, I thought we've been in since 017. Uh, we're milking about uh, 80 cows all year round. Oh, so we can about 120 cows. That would be about it, realistically. Yeah. And so I, we're milking all year round. And I suppose, why you robot? Why Lily? I thought I'm working full time. And so it's my partner, she's working full time as well. And um, we just wanted the flexibility, but really, to be honest with you, yeah. yeah. And when we were looking at putting Sony apart and the work we'd have to do for holding yards and sheds and everything, the robots slotted into a shed that we had here. But having spoken to uh, different farmers, we felt that the lily probably best suited to us. Yeah. Predominantly for backup service. Now, the, the, at the time, they were never the most expensive robots to get. Yes. But the backup service was crucial to us, and how many people had them installed. So, the, in theory, like when we want to see them, they were working. The arm is very important in the robot, mm -hmm. how it attaches. Yeah. So, this is a very robust arm, and we like the way that was a huge thing for us. Yeah, because okay. Yeah. You know, you other robots, not yes. medium down because I don't have the other one, but what I could see myself is there was a, there was a lot of finicking in putting on the cups. Yes. So there's probably benefits to that as well. That you take each one off individually or they wash separately, but I found that this was very robust to be honest yeah. with you. And in general the whole it's, it's a very simple system. It may look complicated when you get it first, but for me after a couple of months, the, the, like it's all little components, so if any component does go, it's easily replaced. Right, okay. okay. And Lily have a huge I would compliment them, but a huge backup service thing. So any day or night I will I can ring and someone will be at the end of the phone. And they'll either tell you what to do if you have a problem, or they come up one or the other. And they, they like, and you know that I'm fairly worse now. Like you're, you're the most worsely robot the in Europe is our claim to fame. Most robot in Europe would say. That's our claim to fame. That's our claim to fame. But it's it's what we find is in fairness to them, like we were never more than an hour and a half waiting for someone to come when we had an issue. Yeah. And now we've had very few issues, but you will, of course, with anything that's going. Yeah. So you can find this here, like you will. Issues arise. Yeah. But most of the time, no, we're so familiar with it now, so, like, there's nothing we couldn't do ourselves. And from a bit of guidance when you ring them, yeah. you get the robot going within 10 or 20 minutes. Or. Unless it's a component down there or something that you do have to wait. But as I said, within an hour, an hour and a half, you'll be up back and running. Like. But yeah. that's a huge piece of mind. Like, that's a massive. Huge, massive piece of mind. Now. And they're, they're nice fellas as well. Do you know they have a good Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah. Good, yeah. Good, they talk to you. Them, right? Yeah. And, and I find that, I thought. That's my experience with Lily now. Yeah. I, 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 it is positive, to be honest. Yeah. It's very positive now. And you were saying there that the, the robot itself then, it'll take up the cell counts and it'll yeah, measure all that. Yeah, she is, when we bought this one, she was a bit of a... a centenary model, whatever it was, that thing. She, she came with all the bells and whistles, so she has a way... She has uh, weighing scales built in, so every time the cow goes in, he'll give you her weight. It has a um, cell counter, so every cow's making it will check the cell counts, and each separate quarter. Right. So you get a reading for that. And oh, you'll be able yeah. to see if there's conductivity or if there's a, any signs of mastitis coming in each quarter. So it'll alert you then to deal with that before you'd ever know. Yes. Way, like, it'll, it'll bring it to attention. Or if she drops weight, 
the way it's going to tell you straight away, okay, oh, yeah, she's okay. dropped 40 kilos in the last two days. Yes. Obviously, she's walking your head for a fortnight on the computer. Aren't It'll obviously heat detect the clothes a bit more. Oh yeah, temperature. So she'll, yeah. You know, she, well, she'll do the milk temperature as well, but she'll obviously give you the... If you have a cold bullet or a cold heat. Oh like, right, yes. And she'll wrap it into a little thing there in front of the week. Or you, 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 you just come, you can service the call and leave the... Oh get right, okay, yeah. So that, that's, that's, another, that's another huge plus with it. And she feeds the eels. So we accept to feed the eels. So basically for a cow's giving 15 eels or 25 eels or 30 eels, the ration is suits, so the more milk they give, the more ration oh, they give. Oh yeah, okay. So, and we run that as well. And then she milk the cows on average three times a day. Yes. Three times a day. Now we don't do it all, with heifers and stuff, we would say to that twice a day. Yeah. But with the, with the, the milking cows and the peaking, they'll be milking averaging about 2.6 or 7 times a day over the course of the week. I will say a cow there now, it might come in twice, go out and come back in again straight away. Will it push them through or what? Well you see those little, um, little shock ones that leave them ตินเซนซิไวซ์ไปกันเอาไปกินเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนาะเนา
four, I bought it So I put them through that night after telling them one that I missed them. And the next one, like, no three of them had already gone through it for a second time. Then one is all I had to put in. No, the one had to be put in maybe three times. She was a bit reluctant. Yes. The rest of them had gone through. Uh, after day three or four, they'll follow the herd like They'll follow the rest of the country. Yeah, and yeah. And even yeah. going through the graves, but there's nothing to worry about. They got the, they just follow the rest of the cows naturally. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, you think there's even more yeah. And even a heifer there, I had a heifer calf there last week. Never put her into the water before. I, and we just three times a day. Not a whole. 265 days a year. No, like, no, no, you know, no, 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 no. Lily never wants to take a day after three. Yeah, so, yeah. Like that has been on since, you know, when did I start? 17. March 17 without being turned off. Yeah. Well, obviously it's gone off. Yeah, I would like, yeah. Every day. Yeah. She's making toes every day since she's... Did you find it hard to figure out the computer? No. 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 But well, anyone can do it so well, like, you know... I went and visited the farm in not the breed. And he was after converting from a parlour. And he was in his 60s and I know I don't see Shilmik and all that. And I don't see his set up, eh? And he said, if I could do it, anyone would do it. Yeah. And he was after two years that time going to the conventional parlour. Yes. And... I, so I went away from there saying, look, if, he, if he's going to yeah. work for him, he'll work for me. Like, yeah. That's the way it is. It'll yeah. work for anyone yeah. if you're willing to do it. Like, yeah. You know? Yeah. No. But you know, you'll hear a lot of negativities about sometimes all robots, but a lot of times I find that's going for people who don't have them. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. we all. I come to a new Holland tractor and I don't have one. Yeah, do you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. that natural thing to do, like. The fella, the, so the fellow with the raw white board comes in, but the fellow who's never, never yeah. had one will find a lot of faults in there. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, look, there's not a lot of faults. That's all I yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Alan, thank you. Well, thanks for calling, Margaret. Hey, sure, look, you'll see it working there. Hey, and yeah, no, it's a massive sit up, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a massive sit up, like. A good set up, yeah. And, and of course, look, what's most important, you have a couple of kids. It's, yeah, we have four kids. It's family, right? family time. Family time. And then, what we don't know about, like, these kids, Sinead especially, she can she can run the show. Like, she can come oh. home and physically do the robot there. Like, you know? As far as you couldn't leave Sinead out to make her the 60 no, pounds. No, no. Whatever it is, right? Like, yeah. You couldn't do that, like, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, it is, it is good. And we'll show you the grades we get now on the back. Yeah. But how that works there, like, you know? Period. Well, great.